Hello everybody, this is Council Member Herb Wesson, and I'm so sorry I cannot be with you in person to participate in this very important discussion on reopening and the economic implications of COVID-19. First of all, I'd like to thank the Koreatown Youth Community Center. I have been fortunate enough to partner with them on important programs such as meal deliveries, food boxes, uh, delivering to the seniors during this pandemic. COVID-19's impact on the city of Los Angeles is unprecedented. Life has changed for all of us in so many different areas, not just economically. It is with innovation and collaborative work that I and the rest of the leaders in Los Angeles look to reopen the city. However, let me be clear, safety and the scientific guidelines are at the forefront of any policies or plans that we have. As elected officials, our number one priority is the safety and health of all of our constituents. While we want to save livelihoods, we have to remember we have a responsibility to save lives too. The governor recently announced that in-store shopping is permitted for all retail businesses. However, there are guidelines and restrictions to this reopening, such as social distancing. The city of Los Angeles is supporting businesses by giving out microloans. There are other resources at the county, state, and federal levels available to help out small business. I have also put in some of my own discretionary funds to help with women and minority-owned businesses in my district, and we've partnered with nonprofit organizations to assist small business owners with applications for funding. I have also worked with my colleagues on the council to help out small businesses with moratoriums on commercial evictions. Reaching the other phases of reopening will depend on hitting public health markers, such as the ability to test and having surge capacity for hospitals. This is why I'm proud that the city of Los Angeles was the first major city in the country to offer free testing for all residents. While the number of testing has increased, it still has not reached the results that we are looking for, especially in communities of color. The pandemic has shown alarmingly disproportionate levels of impact on communities of color. So any legislation or policies I introduce will keep this in mind. This will be an ongoing conversation in the weeks and months ahead. As we enter new phases of reopening, I want to emphasize that we're not out of the woods yet. I know these have been incredibly difficult times, but we must stick together and continue to look out for one another. As always, if I can ever be of service in any way, please don't hesitate to reach out to me or my office.